Example 3 asks us to find the focus of the parabola, negative y squared plus 2y plus 2x plus 5 equal to 0. In order to find the focus, we need to know what that formula is. So we're going to go back to the very first page real quick and take a look at our formulas. So if we take a look at our focus, we have either h comma k plus 1 over 4a, if we have a y equals parabola. If we have an x equals parabola, our focus is h plus 1 over 4a comma k. So we need to first figure out if we have a y equals or an x equals. So let's take a look at that real quick. In example 3, our y is the one being squared, which tells us that the x is the one that's going to be by itself. So we have an x equals parabola. So if we look back one more time, we know that we are dealing with this equation in x equals, telling us that our focus is h plus 1 over 4a comma k. So let's go ahead and write that down so we have it. So we know our focus is the formula h plus 1 over 4a comma k. Now in order to figure out what all these variables are, the h, the a, and the k, we need it in standard form. So the very first thing we're going to do is we are going to put this equation in standard form. To do that, I need my x by itself. So if I want to get my x by itself, I'm going to add the y squared, subtract the 2y, and subtract the 5 to move it over to the other side. And I get 2x equal to y squared minus 2y minus 5. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and divide everything by 2. So I get x equal to 1 half y squared minus y minus 5 over 2. And from here I can go ahead and complete my square. To do that I need to group together my y's, so my y squared and my y. And I get x equals, I'm going to factor out the 1 half that's in front of my y squared. So I get 1 half. In the parentheses, I have y squared. Now, because I took out the 1 half, basically what you're doing is you're dividing. So I'm taking this negative 1 that's in front of my y, and I'm dividing it by the 1 half that I took in front. Negative 1 divided by 1 half is going to give me a negative 2. So this becomes a minus 2y. And I need to leave room for what I'm going to add in. And then outside of my parentheses, I have my minus 5 halves. And I'm going to save room for my opposite that I need to add in there. In order to figure out what I need to put in my blank spot, I'm going to take my middle term, that 2. I'm going to divide it by 2. And I'm going to square it, giving me this number in here, which would be 2 divided by 2 is 1. Squared would give me 1. And then I remember I take this 1, and I need to account for the 1 half that's out in front. So I've actually added a positive 1 half, which means my number out here needs to be a negative one half. And then completing my square, I get x equals one half times y minus one squared minus three. Next up I need is to find the focus. So in order to find my focus, I need to know what my h value is, my a value, and my k value. So if I take a look at my equation below, I have oops, x equal to 1 half y minus 1 squared minus 3. Let's scroll back up real quick to the front or turn your paper over. And remember, we are using our x equals graph. So our h value is the one on the outside. Our k value is the one on the inside. And our a value is the one out in front. So if we go back to our problem, I know that in my problem, my h value is negative 3, that number on the outside. My k value is coming from inside the parentheses, which is 1. And my a value is the number out in front, which is 1 half. So if I put this into my problem, I get h, which is negative 3, plus 
1 over 4 times 1 half, comma, 1. And then you can put this in your calculator, or you can do it in your head, however you want to figure it out. But we need to do negative 3 plus 1 over 4 times 1 half. And if you calculate that, you should get that value to be negative 2.5 and then the one is not changing. So our focus is the point negative two and a half, comma one. Next I would like you to do the try this. So you can pause it now and unpause it when you want to check your answer. If you did the try this correctly, you should have gotten a focus of one, comma negative 33 over 16. Or if you wrote it as a decimal, it was 1 comma negative 2.0625. If you have any questions, please let me know.